What is rebirth? Rebirth to me is a second chance. It's a fresh start. It's me finally getting to express myself in ways that I haven't been able to before. I took a lot of risks with this EP. And this is the first time I've ever done anything without anybody else. It's just me. It, it's raw. I wrote every word with the exception of one verse on the entire album. And obviously the hooks I didn't write, but that's a different story. But every word, every feeling, every emotion is purely me. When we started this project back in 2008, Nobody expected anything of it. Me and Scotty sat down and we bullshitted and we wrote the songs that we wrote back then and they weren't worth anything. And we knew that. We knew that this was never going anywhere. So it didn't come as a surprise to me when he left. And I never thought that I would ever actually revive this project. When I wrote Till I Fall in late 2017, 2018, I'm sorry, I never expected anything else to come from that. I thought that was the end of it. I thought, well, here's a single. I'm never going to write another song. And shortly after I released the song and finished it, I started writing Lose Control. And it took well over a year for that one to come out and it, it was it was hard work it kicked my ass like I never expected anything like that to ever come to be and you know I wrote Loose Control and then shortly after I finished writing surprisingly the entire fucking album like and I couldn't think of what to name it. I was like, I'm going to release this. I'm, I have to. This is everything that I've held in for two and a half, three years. It's got to come out and it's got to be perfect. But what, what am I going to call it? And I thought about it and it's like, this is my rebirth. This is my second chance. This is, this is SBDN Project's debut album. Like, we, we've been at this for 12 years, and this is where we finally take off. This is the start. This is the restart. This is an, an uprising. It's emotional. It's raw. This is, this is it. This is the fucking album. And here I am. 2020. This is my rebirth. This is my fresh start. And that, that's where the name came from. That's what this album is. That's what this album means. It is no longer, oh, here's two guys just trying to be funny. Oh, look, he's by himself. Oh, he's just going to do covers. Oh, he's trying to be funny too. This is real. This is raw. This is everything that I've wanted to say for too fucking long this is everything that I've held in for too fucking long this is my fresh start this is my rebirth and I know I've said that a lot in this video but it's because I want the point to be known that this is the new era of SBDM Project this is our rebirth this is our second shot this is what this should have been from the beginning. This is rebirth. And this is real. This is exactly what needs to be said at the exact time that it needs to be said. I've been pushed around. I've been shoved around. I've been beaten down and treated like dirt. And no more, no more will I be that guy that is pushed around, that is stepped on, that is used, that is led on, that is abused. 
no fucking more. This is my second fucking chance. This is my start over. This is my rebirth. And this is how it's going to be. I made sure that I did everything myself. I self-recorded. I went ahead and did the artwork myself. Everything is me. Except for the beats and the guest verses. But that's what it needed to be. It needed to just be me. And that's what it is. And it's it's new it's terrifying it's frightening it's insane i cannot fucking believe i did it but i had to do it i had to do it that way for the simple fact that the e- the ep is all me the rebirth is me this is my rebirth this is not anybody else's this is my start over And I wanted to make sure that it was authentic. And it is. And this is the new, the new beginning. And there's nothing else to that.